Okay guys, so we're going to be transferring to fabric. Alright, so this is our pattern and then uh, as you can see I've put a very light interface which we popularly call maybe the paper stay or BFF, alright? Really the light one, really light one. So and I'm working with a silk um, fabric. So here is my pattern and I've placed it directly on it. And then, but before I continue, I want to show you something. If I'm folding back, you know, like I said, I will start folding from number six, six, five, four, three, three, two, one. So I want to show us where we're going to be adding allowance on this pattern. So this is what we have. And then we're going to be adding allowance along our armhole line. All right. Along the, you know, the neckline and then the other armhole. We're not going to add to the sides. If you remember when we were drafting, we already added that to our measurement. We're also going to have it around there. We're going to have allowance around there as well. Because we're going to be joining this to either our peplum, our skirt pattern, or maybe a trouser. You know, depending on what exactly you want to achieve at the end of the day. Okay, so this is it. And so if you don't, uh, you know, to mix it up, you can indicate it on your pattern that, okay, I'm adding allowance around there. Whichever way you know you will just get it so that you won't... Cut it and then after cutting, you now remember that oh, I'm supposed to add allowance I didn't add, you know. So you can just indicate the area because we are not adding allowance to the shoulder joining, all right. And then we are not adding to the sides. This is the side here, we are not adding. So I'll, where we are not adding, you can do XX, you know, XX, where we are not adding. And then where we are adding, you can just put an indication around there so you don't mix it up you know at the end of the day so this is what i have now another thing i want you to understand is that you we are going to be using a lot of pins to transfer our you know our pleats we want to transfer all these pleats here now we want to transfer it to our fabric so we need to hold it down with our pins so you will see what i'm going to do now i'll be holding it down with my pin every corner i'll be holding with my pin i'll be holding almost the entire piece with my pin because that's the only way I can easily fold. Alright, that's the only way I can easily fold. So you see me holding everything with my pin. And you see I'll be holding the whole piece with my pin. Yeah, guys, I needed to show us something again. You see, after folding, you know, folding it back, folding the pleats back. You know, we have something like this. Let me show you the back. This is how the back will look like. How you see. So this is how yours should look like. When you're done, this is how the back should look like. You can see the back. Alright. And then when we bring it this way. You know, I told us we should mark and note those areas that we're going to be adding sewing allowance. So now we have marked some areas. We said we are going to be putting allowance around here, the neckline, sorry, the armhole, the neckline, armhole, the sides, sorry, this half length part. So I also needed to show you because I was going to omit that. So I was going to also tell you that even this part, we need to add sewing allowance. Can you see this part? Let me bring it up. Can you see? So. This part, this brown paper pad that is showing here, that is along this waistline, you need to also add sewing allowance. So what I did, and what I advise you to do is that, once you bring it together this way, you know, this is two, one, just note that, okay, like here now I have to put a mark on this little part. So this little part, I'm going to be adding allowance. This little part, I will add allowance. So I've put arrow there. I've put arrow here to arrow here so that when I spread it out, I can see the area I'm putting allowance. So that means I'm putting allowance around this place. I'm putting allowance around here, here. I'm not putting here. I'm not putting here. Then I'll come here and put in here and put in here. Do you understand? So that by the time we are done, we won't have any shortage of fabric at all. 
So I realized that I did not mention that. So I said, okay, let me mention it. So you can see that I'm already having my sewing allowance. So I'll just pin it back. I'll pin it back now. So guys, you can see it's well pinned. And then you can see I've applied my paint almost everywhere. You can see just to hold the pattern to the fabric really, really firmly. Don't forget to put your interface. Your interface will give your fabric more stability and strength. Alright, so please make, ensure you pin them down really well. Ensure you pin it down. Ensure it's well pinned down. Alright, you can see I have pin here, I have here, I have around here. And then also in between this paper, make sure you don't pin along the line that it will along the line of your fold you can see that this is the fold line here even if you want to pin along this fold line make sure your pin is exactly on the line all right and most times always better to even pin around all this brown paper side because sometimes when you pin on the main fabric it might uh, by the time you remove your pattern and everything you might be seeing those holes on your main fabric all right so but it's just that we cannot do without pinning even the other areas as well because you need it to be really really firm on the fabric all right so the next i'm going to do now i'll be cutting it i'll need my scissors you can see where i've put my allowance along the neckline please don't forget along the ham o i'm not putting on the sides i put here where i said we are going to be adding you know whatever with peplum skirts trousers whatever we're adding here and i told us that there are parts of the brown paper that we also add allowance here so this is the area here i've indicated it i have put some indication on it so that i don't mix it up so i've put allowance around here as well i come this way so i've not put allowance here because this is not part of my full point i hope you can see it very clearly because i need you to understand this part all right so you don't have shortage by the time you're sewing it so you can see there's no allowance here no allowance here Remember when we were cutting all these folds, we added one inch, you know, as our folding allowance and sewing allowance all together. So that's why we're not really adding along here. We're not adding along here. And then coming here again, I had to add allowance again because it falls on the waistline. So all the brown paper that falls on the waistline, I need to add sewing allowance to it. So that's why I have it here, I have it here. And make sure you don't add allowance where you don't need to add allowance. Because if you do that, by the time you are folding your fabric, you will have difficulty. Alright? It will not fold easily. So if you have done it correctly, by the time you are folding, you it should fold you should fold with ease. You shouldn't struggle to fold it. As long as you, you know, go, you follow my this, uh, my direction and my instruction, you will not have issue folding it. So now I'm going to be cutting. I'm going to be cutting it out now. So you know the allowance you're putting is half inch. Of course, you no, know, we we'll sewing with half inch. So even along the neckline, you sew with half inch. So after sewing, you can decide to trim off. Maybe a quarter of an inch and leave a quarter of an inch, you know, on the ammo too. It depends on how you sew, but please me just add half inch, you know, so you can always trim later if you feel the half inch is too much for you. All right, so I'm just going to cut it off now. So I'm doing so the cutting. guys out i've cut it out and um i also like you to see you can see my allowance look at the areas that i've put my allowance can you see them like mine like that so i just thought i should uh, you know bring the camera a little more closer so that you can see so you can see all the places i've added allowance you can see my pins clearly you can see this is the the part i said falls along the waistline so all the area that falls along the area uh, waistline you can see me putting an arrow there you know and they can see that i did not put allowance along here so there's no need putting allowance along here because while we're drafting you know or while we're transferring our that we actually added allowance to some of it. you can see some of the allowance we had there so that will be enough for us by the time we are folding you know so you can see can see and then even here as well you can see i had it because this part also falls along the waistline all right and so you can see my arrow so just to indicate so that i don't mix it up so please i would like you to also do the same thing so you don't mix it up you can see my joining allowance along the waistline 
all right so this side we are not adding and this is the armhole this armhole area we are adding of course that's my half inch and then on the shoulder we are not adding any allowance we're adding on the neckline we're not adding on the shoulder here we're adding on the arm hole this is arm hole this is neckline and this is arm hole all right and then this is sides all right so we are not adding. so you can see a very close shot of it you can see the pins you can see how well i've added my pins to it almost every point you find the pin can you see so i would like to i would like you also do the same thing so that you will get it really right can you see the pins all right so this is a method you know we also look at how we can you know add to um maybe plain and pattern to our designs all right so this we are just using one color we also try it out with a plain and a pattern fabric all right in a way that you will sew it and it will conceal your sewing as in you won't even see the lines when you're when you're done sewing you won't even see the lines of where you you know had there the two uh, different patterns so th the class is actually loaded the course is really loaded and then um, i'm sure you will enjoy yourself and you will learn a lot you will learn a lot of sewing tricks as well you will learn a lot of sewing techniques that you can also apply in other areas of your sewing all right so the next thing we're going to be doing we're going to be you know using our iron at this point so right now you need to plug your iron I have to plug my iron now so that I can let it get really hot so that we can place the, uh, the we need the steam, uh, the steam all right, to be able to transfer uh, the pleats or the darts into the main fabric. All right. is ready so I'll be transferring the pleats all right so follow me as you go we're starting with number six so we we'll fold number six like so you know because it's well pinned so it's easy for the pattern and the fabric to pick itself together so I folded number six I'm going to pick my iron I'm going to do this way. Alright, so that's number six. You go to number five. to put uh, this underlay so that I can have any problem. Alright, so we're transferring our feet. So this is number five. So we go to number four. So as I'm packing it, it's it's going along with the fabric. I'm going to check that it's well folded. Number three. Number two. I'm going to put another pin here. Okay, so number two. We want to do this. Come on. 
today. Okay, the last one. Okay, the last one, number one. I'm going to put pink in so. So I'll put another one. So you can see what I was saying the other time when I said we should add another one to this part. Okay, let me just turn it into the shoes. So transferring the last piece. So this is what I mean when I say we should have allowance. If we had not allowed, added allowance to this brown part, you can see that it would, would have had shortage around there. Can you see? So, but because we added allowance at that part, so that, that's why we have this, all right? So please make sure you don't forget to add allowance where you should add allowance, all right? So that's all we have. So you can run your steam iron over it all over again. So, this is what we have. So, time to remove our paints. Okay, so this is what I have. I've removed the paints so we can take out our pattern. And then we have this. Let me take out this. So this is all we have. You can see our pleats nicely formed. Look at it. Wow, it's beautiful. Can you imagine? Can freehand achieve this? Na 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 na. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, also to showing us some other materials that we can use, other fabric. Because you know, it's not a fabric that you can use to do your rigami, right? Or your spiral, whatever. It's not all fabric. So I'm going to be. All right, we're going to be discussing that too, the kind of fabric that you can use to achieve your origami. Wow, this is lovely. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Can you see? Can you see the bulge? Can you see the bulge? So that's why I told you that my own method there, it must give you fitting. If you have been sewing this thing or cutting it to your hand, You've been experiencing ill fitting, forget it. This is your last bus stop. You won't have that kind of uh, result again. So you can see very fine, easily formed. All right, so we're going to go to the sewing machine. I'll be showing us how to join it. All right, I'll be showing us how to join it. So let's move to the sewing machine. Hey guys, so we'll be sewing uh, bamboo bodies. And then, like we have been folding, we started from number six and all of that. So just follow me as I sew. So I'm going to do the first one. This is number six. So I'm folding it this way. All right. And then I'm going to run the first stitch along this line. Can you see? Along this line to hold it down. So I place it under my sewing machine like so. I hope you're seeing what I'm doing. And then I'll run the first stitch. So I'm trying to use the contrasting thread so that you can see the thread clearly so, do my scissors. okay so now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do we're going to bring this part now can you see we've run our first stitch so we're going to pick this and turn it this way Turn it this way, all right. So you can see there's an opening here. So this opening, I'm going to do um, like we, the way we saw our darts, all right. I'll just do it this way. We will saw our darts, and I'll come like that, and then I'll do this. Can you see? So that's what I'll do now. So just come along with me. So I'll place it again under my sewing machine, and I'll sew it like a dart. So always remember to back stitch.
okay so that's it don't mind me i always i always uh, like to cut the thread with my hand <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do you can see we have closed it up so this is five right so number five this part now i'm going to run a stitch here as well Let's run another stitch here like so all right so just follow along so run it now this way i hope you can see what i'm doing so i run it make sure it's well lit and then i'm going to run my stitch back stitching okay so once that is done i'm going to cut the thread all right so this is number five so this is number four and then so i'm going to do it this way again i'll turn it over number five sorry six five four okay four please don't me don't do mistake oh. six five this is four this is the next one so i'll close it up and I'll, I'll turn this this way can you see and then i'll do that again what we did the other time and then when i'm sewing it i'll make sure my dart leg extends to this look at this place now over here i'll make sure it extends to that place i hope you're understanding me so that means my dart leg will come like this this is how i'm going to sew it can you see so i'll come again and i'm going to sew it down with my thread okay now so i'm going to be running my that so i'm coming i need to arrange it properly I need to be sure it's well arranged okay so if you think it's going to be moving maybe you're a beginner you think it's going to move just hold it with your pin this way again and then we run another stitch around here all right here now so that's here so i'm going to place it again under my sewing machine and i'll run my stitch okay now so we move to this is five six five four three two so before we move to two we're going to run another stitch along here is that number three going to run it around there and i'll put my I'm going to sew it this way so another thing look i'll show us something now let me just do this again turn this over you know this is six, six five four three two this is two so i bring two this way and i come this way oh, sorry six five four three two this is two so two is going to come this way so i'm going to join it can you see this part now that we have sewn here, we have sewn here, we are going to turn it this way. Alright, I hope we are following. So I'm going to run another dart. So here now, you can decide to... Okay, anytime you are joining it and you are having issues, just pin it. There is no problem pinning. Right? You can pin. So you are going to do another dart around there. So you can pin if you are struggling with um, putting it together. And just pin it so I'm going to run another stitch here okay let me do my okay so. okay so that's all we have can you 
see so and this is number two this is number one so number one so we'll just close it up As you can see this is the finished look all right and you can see our cleats is well formed you know you can see the cleat well formed and you can see the bulge i just like the bulge effect even though there is really nothing under it you can see so that's because our method of drafting you know so method of drafting is also very important and you need to really understand the basic of dressmaking you know what i mean is learning and understanding the principles of cut and sew because once you get the foundation right you can always build on it and then actually we have some pattern uh, some basic pattern drafting class at the token that you can enroll in we have the dart manipulation class as well you know when you understand all these things you can see just simple ways that this uh, there is no padding no bustier cut no princess that and yet we have this bulge you can see so now once your measurement is perfect you I can tell you that this dress will be very fitted by the time you wear it I want to see what you can come up with all right and so i'll see you in the next class